And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Osaka at the Edian Arena in Osaka. In the red corner, we've got Tetsu taking on, in the blue, Narifumi Nishimoto. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Boom, let's get into this. Okay, we've got two gentlemen here um, with the same hairstyle and a seven centimeter difference in height. So we're going to see how that plays out. It's right, a lot of the stats um, fairly similar for these guys. Besides the height differential, both early 20s, uh, the one big distinguishing factor here is Nishimoto in the blue. Nine wins, all by KO. He's a monster. We know what he's going to be looking for. And early on, just off balance there. there we go. Yeah, these, are, these guys are going to clash hard and fast, no doubt. Now, here we go. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how they establish... Their, their own skill sets in this first round. We can see here that Nishimoto is probably the more patient guy, looking to be a bit more precise and efficient. No, you're right. Yep, yep. Uh, Tetsu coming out there with a whipping like kick, snapping from the knee, known as a question mark kick or a Brazilian kick. Mm. Nice little uh, counter as uh, Tetsu stepped in there from Nishimoto. Just catching him with that left jab straight. That's right. Nishimoto already trying to own the center of the ring and just push Tetsu into the corner. A little uncomfortable moment there, a little low, but the ref's okay. Everyone seems fine. Okay, a little bit standoffish here, early. Oh, here we go. Nice snappy little jab there from Tetsu. Yeah, he returned the favor of what uh, Nishimoto done earlier. Oh, nice little feint there. I like that. I like that. Just seeing what Tetsu's going to do. Well, you can see here the stance of Nishimoto. He's got a traditional karate background, actually in the same gym as his elder in Kyoto, uh, Imazaki, who's fighting later on in the evening. But, uh, yeah, Nishimoto with the real upright stance, um, the quick step in on his jab. Ooh, he's got beautiful shot variety here right now, and he's got beautiful head movement. He's definitely getting the better of the exchanges. Tetsu's got him. Got to start thinking about using his range. Got to start thinking about using some angles now. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That was a fan fantastic uh, exchange there with Nishimoto. Definitely getting better at that. Hitting and getting back out. Hitting, bobbing and weaving. Hitting and then following up with some big left hooks. Wow, really impressive there from Nishimoto. He's just looking to keep that beautiful range. Keep, keep that bite point of his punches right where he wants them. Look at this now. Look at this. Way he just shifts his little head to the right there yep. to avoid any counters and just comes straight down the middle. Ooh, real good. Mm -hmm. Spirited yeah. clinch. A little fancy in the clinch there. Yeah, there's no love loss here, is there? No, no. These, oh, that's the thing in the K1 ring, man. You get these young, hungry competitors, 20 some years old. You know, these guys are, are fighting to get to the real big leagues in K1, and yeah, it's like a, it's a shark tank, man. Beautiful. We've seen so much hunger in display there. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's totally well served to uh, keep moving, keep circling, stick to the kicking game. He, he does it well, but these these exchanges here are, are not going to be not going to be as fruitful for Tetsu. Yeah, he definitely want, wants to get away from the boxing here early on. I spotted little spinning back fest in there. He's definitely trying some some different things out there. Ooh. Okay, well I think Nishimoto established himself a little bit more early there, he's a little bit more effective, a little bit more precise. Tetsu's got to start thinking about what he's going to do in round two. Yeah, Nishimoto showing up um, some of that some of that power that has led to all his wins coming by way of knockout. Um, getting Tetsu on the ropes at some points and just unleashing that left leg. Beautiful form, beautiful strategy using the ring so well. Tetsu's going to have to sort of reevaluate with his corner here. And, and just not get stuck in those positions. Absolutely. I like the way he's uh, he's putting the odd shot downstairs too. He's looking to slow his man down and gas him out. And um, and look at the way he just times it. He just sways back a little bit, moves away from the shot, and comes right back to that left hand. It's a beautiful left hand. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, you know, you watch enough of these K1 fights, and you realize too that body work that Nishimoto's putting in now is really so effective. Even in just three rounds, um, I've seen so many finishes with body shots. Um, so it's, it's good work, it's meaningful, and it's smart of Nishimoto to do. 
Also, I think when you're in your twenties, you, you sometimes underestimate body shots. I mean, it's when you get above thirty, you realise they actually do hurt. Oh. They don't just slow you down; they do hurt. Mm. Oh, beautiful, beautiful little yeah. little slip and left hook there. He's really favouring that left hook right now. It's working for him. I think he's got a great left hand, and, and Pence is going to need to use his kicking game to shut that thing down. Kick the lead leg, throw the front kick, push away. Don't create that middle distance for the jab to land. Don't be there and don't give it to him. Well, I think, uh, I think he's heard you, Brian, because he's definitely looking to uh, create a little bit more range now. He's definitely using a little bit more angles. And um, he's not looking to trade as he did in the first round. And moving well. Ooh, popping a little left hook off the back step there of his own. And then moving in with the knee. I, I like it. Tetsu, you know, isn't trying to stay at that range and just punch it out. No. That was a beautiful little move as well. Really, really mixing it up, getting some variety in there. Giving Nishimoto more to think about. Maybe hesitate a little bit. Ooh, and finding uh, the right, uh, home for the right Ooh. hand there. Ooh. Kind of a jab from below. Very beautiful, very beautiful. And Tetsu's gonna, he can use the step in from Nishimoto. As Nishimoto steps in, he can land the counter shot, which will increase the power. Absolutely, he's doubling the impact, and I think, to be honest with you, he's doing better with the uh, with the left hand right now. That beautiful left hook. Yeah, he's hanging long and popping that thing. Oh, he's got his man hurt. Here he goes. He's going for the finish. How does Nishimoto handle this? He just he just launched a chin-seeking missile, man. That thing caught him <laughs> right on the edge of the jaw. Look, look at this from Nishimoto. He clearly hasn't got his legs beneath him. He's unstable, but he's got head movement still. Here he is. He's sticking in there. He's got composure. Mm. Yeah, that, that is, that's the beauty of being, oh, what is he, 22? My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you put a three in that age at the front, and it won't yeah. happen. Yeah, we're a four. Ooh. Oh, gosh. I'm talking real scary. Well, that's good not to be that is. Man. Look at the way he's just doing some work, creating some distance, mm -hmm. doing some work. And the Tetsu going downstairs as well. You'll, you'll just see great body work in this K1 fight. Some both these guys and some like good like body work. It's good to see. I mean, with so few rounds, so many I would have thought we'd just forget about the body work and just go for head seeking missiles, but it's good to see. They've got one eye on the future. Ooh. Interesting here, Nishimoto's got Tetsu on the ropes now and looking for his own shots. Yeah, he's hanging tough, man. He's gaining that, some of that momentum that he lost back. Um, I'm sure he's feeling the urgency. He's got to make something big happen because, you know, as far as I see it, Nishimoto takes the first round, but uh, Tetsu gets the down in this round. So he's, he's sitting pretty going into the third. Absolutely, Brian. It's, uh, it's on Nishimoto now to to do all the work coming into the third. And as he's coming off of two losses back to back, this is critical round for him right now. That's yeah. a critical round. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you know, being a fan, you don't know the, the pressure that, that just goes in these guys. You know, every round is so important. Yeah, like you said, Nishimoto, he's, got, he's coming off of two losses. He could get a, a third loss here, and that is a big deal. That sends you back to the farm leagues, you know, that gets you out of the big event. So he needs to, uh, there's a lot of pressure on him now to go into this next round and do something big. And it's got to be something big if he wants to win. Really has to be. This third round is so much for him right now. Tetsu just needs to come out, keep that range. He doesn't have to engage now. He's got a little mm. edge. He doesn't have to engage as he once did. When Nishimoto has to force him to engage, yep. draw him back into his strength. That's right. And this is where we'll get to see the score of Tetsu because he's got to strike a good balance. He can't just backpedal. But he's got to hang, he's got to be smart and protect himself and not give up that lead. It's going to be interesting to see how Nishimoto has recovered or feels how he's recovered. Because in the last round towards the end, instead of clinching, he actually pushed. Yeah. He wanted to engage, so he's obviously feeling good. Well, Tetsu doing a good job banging some lead leg uh, switch kicks off the right arm of Nishimoto. Even though they're not landing cleanly, um, that hurts, you know, that slows your arm down. That arm just gets numb. The elbow gets tight and swollen, and you just can't throw the right hand and with the power that you did before. Reminds me of uh, back in boxing, old Rocky Marciano used to pound his opponent's arms so they wouldn't work for him. Yeah, well, you can do it with kicks, knees, punches. Even though, you know, you're effectively blocking a shot, that energy is going into your body. You've got to absorb that, and it, 
Mm, it does not feel good. <laughs> no, no, it makes you check in with your soul and, uh, and see what's down there. There you go. I'm talking to my right arm. I'm telling it to move. It's not doing what I'm saying. There's a block between the brain and it's the in, limb. It's in slow motion. A beautiful little jab coming from Tetsu. Dare I say it, probably the better boxing coming from him right now. Maybe, yeah. maybe those tactics are paying off. Yeah. You know, it, it does. It just goes to show it's not all about the power. He's using finesse and footwork and distance and range. He'll eat a shot here or there, but he's not letting himself, you know, get um, lose his poise. Absolutely. I'd like to see him revolve away from the ropes a little bit more. Yeah. Um, he's working off of them well, um, but it's always nice to have a bit of space at the back. Yeah, he's fighting well out of the corner. He's staying busy, but he's just kind of you're teetering on the edge there when you got a guy like Nishimoto who just wants to get you on the ropes and hurt you there. He's kind of playing with fire a little bit. It would be best to get back to that center. Absolutely. Center of the room. Being static against a guy with that many KOs, it's, uh, as you say, it's in the, it's in the danger zone. Yeah. But as, as he's trying to get there, Nishimoto just walking him down. So uh, props to Nishimoto for uh, doing a good job of keeping him there. Yeah. He's changed it up with the uppercuts here. He's gone for a second one. Didn't quite work for him as the first one did. But it's good to see the variety. Yeah, and Nishimoto's got to play a smart game here too because of course he can pressure Tetsu in the corner, but he's got to have room to throw punches. So he's got to use movement with his feet rather than just lunge in. Um, and that's hard to do when you're already exhausted and you've been kicked in the legs a bunch. It's nice to see the way uh, Tetsu just rolled underneath a shot definition, although normally in boxing you're told not to try and, you know, even worry about trying to duck under the shorter man, but there he is, so agile. Yeah, yeah. Just young and snappy, and, and, but really showing some great technique and strategy as well. These final 10 seconds and Nishimolo really, really, he's watching it all fade into his third loss. Just a masterful job there, um, having to show grit in the first round when he's down, getting the down in the second round on his opponent to put himself ahead, and then having just great interplay there with range and techniques, and um, but but keeping the pressure up as well in the third round. Absolutely, you know he, his corner team are worth their weight in gold tonight. You know the advice they gave him, I'm sure it was amazing. He came out, he applied it, and. Well, after a shaky first, look at that. Absolutely. Yeah, no, and, and the fans here are just get, getting a, a, a treat, man, a feast for the eyes. Just such good action here, good power, good speed, oh, um, and great ringmanship. Absolutely. Now, let's see how the referee is singing this belt. 30 ジャッジ杉村。30対29。赤鉄。ジャッジ 30対28。赤鉄。以上判定3対0をもちまして勝者赤コーナー。テイツ。you know, actually moving up from featherweight to the super featherweight class here, but he's having a lot of luck here. He's looking really good at this weight division. He really is very comfortable. He fills it out well. Both guys are going to certainly know they were in a fight in the morning. They really laid it all on the line here. Well, what's dangerous, yeah, about a beautiful shot there, about a guy like Texas, he, he, is, he seems to be very aware of where he's good, of what he needs to do. Look at that power, it's that whipping power. He's just pulsing at the end of the shot. Absolutely, yeah, like driving the shoulder, bam, snapping that fist. Great work there. A fun match. I love watching fights like this. Beautiful match. And Nishimoto, I mean, to work so hard and not win, he's got to feel hard. You, know, you are absolutely right. And there we have it, the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Osaka in the Eddie and Arena in Osaka. We will see you guys next time.